Welcome to another video. I am the Starman, and this is just a quick update video on Comet C2022 E3 ZTF. Now, I've already done a couple of videos on it where I managed to photograph it with my camera here. I managed to photograph it with this camera, just with this lens, a 50 millimeter lens. And I want you to have a chance to photograph it yourself or even just see it through binoculars as well, because I'm not sure if the comet is going to be bright enough to see by the naked eye. But this is just a quick update just to let you know where the comet is at the moment. I'm filming this video now on January the 31st. Now, I'm just going to put a map on the screen now of where the comet is now and where it's going to be as we go into early February. The closest pass to Earth is going to be on February the 2nd, so there's still time to get it if you're watching this video by then. And you can still get it after that date, but you might notice, I'm not sure if it shows up on this map very well, it gets closer to Earth. It actually moves across the sky against the background stars quite a bit faster and I describe it a bit like you know when you see a car coming down the road and you're looking down the road towards the car and it then goes past you and it moves really quickly as it goes past you and then you look at it going away and it starts to slow down a little bit well it's a bit like the same sort of effect with the comet the comet is coming towards us earlier on in January and now it's going past us like that and then it's going to move away it's actually going to move into the southern celestial hemisphere so if you live in sort of south south of the equator you have a better chance of seeing the comet although it will be moving away from us all the time now so it's going to get dimmer and dimmer unfortunately i don't think it's going to be quite bright enough to be naked eye but if you've got a pair of binoculars and you're looking out on around about the february the second or around about that date when it said its closest approach you've got a really good chance of seeing it and hopefully the map that i just showed you there will give you some idea of where to look you can actually see it um, early you can actually see it all night long now you don't need to be up at stupid o'clock to see it and also if you want to take a photograph of as well you might want to use a camera so i've got this little camera here it's a canon 1200d it's got an 18 to 55 millimeter lens what you would do is you would set the lens to 18 millimeter and what you want to do is you want to put the camera into manual mode i would put it into manual mode you want to set the shutter speed so that the shutter speed is around about 10 seconds then set the iso to iso say 3200 i would say and f 3.5 that's the aperture you want that as low as possible that aperture there and if you're going to focus the camera the moon's going to be in the sky so you might want to focus on the moon and then point the camera roughly towards the north star roughly towards the north star and take that exposure there and hopefully you might just be able to get the comet in the shot just like what i did with my camera and even if you're using a mobile phone now i don't know what type of app you have on your mobile phone what type of camera app you use but if you can find a setting that allows you to take a long exposure of a few seconds of the night sky you might just be able to catch it on a mobile phone as well but remember if you are going to try and photograph it i do advise that you go somewhere that has a nice dark sky to the north if you're in the town it's not very good because what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot of light pollution you're going to get all the street lights and things like that that, that might overwhelm the sky and you won't be able to see the comet. So I do advise that you go out of town or maybe you go to a local park. We are looking higher up now, which is good. So we're actually looking above most of the glow from, from streetlights. But if you can get somewhere like a park um, or something like that, then you've got a much better chance of capturing the comet on your mobile phone or on a camera like this. So... I wish you luck in doing that. Um, it's been really cloud away where I am, so I haven't really had a chance to see it since I did those videos. Oh, and if you've recently subscribed to the channel, thanks very much. Welcome to the channel. I'll be doing many more videos showing you how to take pictures of the night sky and how to take pictures of them with little cameras like this and also mobile phones and things like that. I'll be doing many more of those videos over the next few months. So I hope you like this video and good luck comet spotting.